Hi everyone, uh, with me today is Alper from Ant Media. I'm Tachil Levent Levy, blog Me. Alper is the CEO of Ant Media, and he is here to explain to us exactly how the Ant Media server works and what it is. Thank you, Tashi, for hosting us. I will explain today and uh, what Ant Media server is all about Ant Media, and, uh, and I will start with the short introduction of Ant Media server. And Antmedia Server is a real-time streaming platform that can help you to build any type of video application which requires interactivity or mass broadcasting. And Antmedia Server has been in the market for more than three years, and it's been used by more than you know 5,000 instances worldwide. And by using the standards compliant WebRTC technology, Antmedia Server provides 0.5 seconds latency and by its nature, it is compatible with any browser. And with the online adaptive feature, bitrate feature, you can serve end user with any bandwidth uh, without uh, concerning about the end user bandwidth. And you can still scale up easily with Ant Media Server as it provides clustering solutions for both on the broadcast side, broadcasting side, and also viewer side as well. And at last, uh, the Ant Media Server helps you to fasten your integration as it provides rich SDK sets and also REST API, which I will mention later on. So this is, in a way, a media server that supports WebRTC as well as other pro protocols. Exactly, yes. Okay. I will mention in the following slides about the other protocols as well. Okay. And, yeah. you know, let, let's start with the use cases. What exactly are the use cases that you're supporting today with the Ant yeah. Media Server? Sure. Actually, there are, you know, many use cases, Tashi. I mean, like Antwerp the server is being used today. I just have listed a uh, common of them, uh, but the most commonly used ones, like live show e events. Uh, it can, and when they can be positions to deliver live shows and events with the scalability function. And the surveillance uh, services that Antwerp the server supports, with the feature of uh, integrating with the NIP camera. And uh, we have many clients on the webinar and e-learning sites, and they are using, um, they are using for uh, webinars for um, e-learnings. And, uh, and if you need interactivity for you know, online auction and bidding, and, uh, that might be a good use case to use on the server. And video game companies, uh, and the game streaming during the you know the gaming they can communicate each other uh, through and the server and the any mobile applications as you can imagine which requires you know with the streaming or video interactivity uh, you know, such a use cases and the server can be used so things that require low latency or interactivity at scale exactly yeah. okay you can you share a view about the features that you have in the and server yeah, sure. Let me go one by one all the details that Ant Media Server provides as of today. And uh, the thing is that Ant Media Server, as everyone knows, as the community perspective, uh, we have both community and enterprise edition. And now I will focus on the enterprise edition because it contains the old feature set that we have today. And if we start with the protocols that uh, Ant Media Server support for ingesting, I mean, we, as I mentioned earlier, we support WebRTC and, mm -hmm. uh, and it's standard compliance as you can use WebRTC with the one to one, one to many or many to many by supporting SFU and MCU uh, uh, and also data channel features as well. And we do have also RTMP uh, support that you can ingest uh, using it. And, uh, and also RTSP is supported as well. You can connect any IP cam, uh, which is on, on with compliant. And you can even remotely control the uh, pan tilt zoom functions of the IP cam with the server. And the, at the egress, egress side, the streaming protocols are, uh, we have different, different ones based on our customer needs. Some of our customers require interactivity. Some of them are okay with this, you know, some seconds of latency and some of them are some of them are didn't even concerned about you know too much latency. Therefore, I mean like the party C is there for an interactivity for real time, and low latency dash is there as well for the three to five seconds latency that if you prefer, or I mean if you are okay with the HLS around ten to you know twelve seconds mm -hmm. latency, 
that is even fine that you can go with the HLS as well. I mean, even in the case that uh, Ant Media Server provides fallback mechanism from WebRTC to HLS when there is a you know issue on the end user side as well. Mm -hmm. And the last RTMP on the egress side also supported for restreaming perspective. If you are having you know broadcast live event or some you know conference call, you can even do restreaming to any other endpoint which supports RTMP like right. YouTube or Vimeo. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to second feature set. And uh, ADR and encoding, one of the you know important functions of Ant Media Server. We execute on the fly adaptive betrayed mechanism, mm -hmm. which allows end user to see the video without any quality degradation. And you can use SD, HD, or low resolutions or higher resolutions than HD to see uh, to deliver the uh, to deliver the video to end users. And Ant Media Server comes with the uh, Software encoder, which performs the encoding functionality and also doing the adaptive bitrate as well. Mm -hmm. And also some of our clients use hardware encoder, which we support NVIDIA and Quincy as well, which is, uh, which can be, you know, easily enabled by installing it. And the codec sites today we support the very, you know, common ones, most used ones, H264, H265 and VPA. Mm -hmm. And we have new ones coming with the upcoming releases in January and February, which we will announce as well. And uh, we have also recording functionality, which uh, for the broadcast, if the uh, if user wants to record all the sessions that they have, conference call or you know live broadcast or any video streaming that is happening on an server, they can record in the MP4 or web -M format, and they can even, you know, save that to, you know, remote storage or with S3, for instance, from AWS. It's mm -hmm. already integrated. And, they, and also, and they, it's also enabled that the, the all recorded videos can be provided video on demand to end users as well to be seen later on. And one, uh, another feature the, that Ant Media comes with, the reach SDKs and APIs. Which uh, you, I mean, it's, which can fasten the integration with the Ant Media Server. We have set of SDKs like iOS SDKs, Android SDKs, JavaScripts. We have packages for Flutter and Unity as well, and we have even uh, RTMP SDKs, uh, which is old-fashioned but it is still available. Mm -hmm. And we have, we do have also have REST APIs too, which allows you to remotely manage Ant Media Server with the starting broadcast, stopping it, interfering it, everything is possible with the REST APIs as well. So you offer controls both on the server side and on the client side? Exactly, yeah. Okay. If you go to search slide, yes, and the one of the key features, again, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's the scaling. Ant Media Server supports scaling on both vertical or horizontal side. And for vertical sites, it's like, you know, increasing CPU and memory that can, you know, have, that can give you the more capacity on and with the server. Or if you don't want to scale up vertically, you can even scale up with the similar servers with the horizontally. You can do it through auto scaling function in, uh, that we have built uh, in combined with in, in Amazon, in Azure, in Alibaba Cloud. Or if you have on-prem servers, you can even install Kubernetes. You can use Kubernetes to scale up and down as well whenever you need it. Therefore, you don't need to worry about uh, when you receive uh, burst traffic or when you receive unexpected, you know, users that come, you know, and join your show. You can easily scale up automatically and then down whenever your broadcast is, you know, finished. Mm -hmm. And the, the last, uh, the feature slide that I would like to mention is, uh, is also important because of the protecting the content that broadcasters are having. It's that we provide uh, infrastructure for the protect the content through stream, stream security. We have uh, different security uh, impl implementations and uh, we kind of, you know, enrich those implementations for the clients, whoever wants to, you know, use uh, this uh, different stream and uh, different security controls actually. 
like you can have you can enable and disable accepting undefined streams you can have you know hash based tokens you can even you know apply ip filters to control who's coming and who's watching and you can protect the url that you share with your customer to make sure that only customer that you share the url is used by only the, the uh, that customer mm -hmm. and yeah additional secret stuff is you know standard ones like you know you have to I mean, you can use ssl and also ip filtering for all the apis that i mentioned before uh, that can allow you to protect your server site as well mm -hmm. okay and yeah. so this is like the feature set what about the actual offering how do you package these different ant media servers options yeah we have different packages. Uh, I mean, like as I mentioned, uh, in the community one is the uh, the ones that also uh, available in the market. It's free and open source. It's it's it comes with the limited features, but it uh, provides uh, the RTC ingest, RTMP ingest, and HLS output, and uh, it is used most. I mean, uh, commonly used in the community. And we have enterprise edition offerings in different, you know, environments. Mm -hmm. Like any customer can come and, you know, purchase the license from directly from antmedia.io uh, as a self-hosted solutions. And you can, they can subscribe monthly or annual ones, or they can even get the perpetual license as well. If they don't want to use their own prem servers and if they want to use the cloud servers and it's already, you know, images are available. Uh, on the well-known cloud networks like Amazon, Azure, uh, Linode, uh, and Alibaba, uh, it's it's available uh, there in DigitalOcean as well. With the one click, they can install the uh, image and they can start using immediately. And the hosted solution is like we go through partners. We have different partners around the world, and they are also providing Ant Media Server as a managed service. And they can even, you know, go ahead and use through our partners as well if they want to use Ant Media Server. So you offer me the ability to use it either on premise by me hosting it myself in different cloud yeah. vendors and also hosted or managed through third parties that you partnered with. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And and the last slide that I would uh, like to, you know, emphasize that. I mean, like how we differentiate as Ant Media, and we have powerful streaming engine, as as I mentioned earlier, for to use in real time streaming, uh, which comes with the adaptive bitrate on the fly, uh, with the transcoding mechanism, which supports uh, the WebRTC comes with the you know all compliance feature sets, and uh, we have the proven scalability, which is uh, verified by one of the streaming professional in the market that we can go uh, up to 100k viewers 150,000 viewers without any quality degradation and as i mentioned you can use uh, aws or azure or alibaba and in the cloud and uh, easily to scale up and down and or even you can use kubernetes uh, on on your prem or or on your cloud service and we enable faster integrations with the APIs and enriched SDK set that we provide to our clients within the package. And we have some functions available in Amazon as well, like you can even build a cluster with the template in, with the one click in less than five minutes that, you know, you, you, you may want to, you know, serve for, you know, 20k broadcaster. You can, you need a, you know, you need, you need to have clustered environment. And you just have to type, you know, how many servers in it and how many uh, uh, login site, how many eight site you will need and how it should scale. And you just have to type, I mean, input it and then you just execute it and then it's ready in five minutes. That's all about the Ant Media. And this is how we differentiate in the market today. And, uh, and I, you know, I'm happy to say that, I mean, today it's more than 5,000 uh, instances that Ant Media Server is running and thank you thank you alper and everyone go and check the antmedia server at antmedia.io